welcome to Ghetto Girl Eats. And today I have somebody that I'm super hyped about interviewing. He is somebody that's from the beauty industry like me that made it from the bottom and came up to the top. If I can give a great definition of who this person is, I would say Ghetto Boys on the Move. Please welcome Jonathan. Hey, hey, <laughs> No, thank you oh for having God. me, baby. This is such a big thing. Like, I have really got Jonathan on my show. You no, know, okay. baby, stop playing. I'm glad to be on the show. Thank you. But like, see, that's what I love about us, though. That's what I love about real motherfuckers. It's like we a big deal to each other. Yeah. I just was saying, like, why celebrities don't act like they weren't just broke or they don't been through some shit or they, it's like they don't relate to real no more. Because they just be more so, like, just stuck on trying to keep that image of being up there. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, you know, we came from nothing. We done no, built it and we done changed lives. And we done, you know what I'm saying, invested in other people's lives. And you know what I'm saying, don't look for no get back. So it's like, we just got that fire to just keep going. You know what I'm saying? And when you see somebody else that's on the grind, it's like, Damn, like, you, you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know what I'm saying? I respect it in, in any way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until, you know what I'm saying? They showing me otherwise. Yeah. Because you got people that's out here that's just faking it. Yeah. And you got people out here that's just really putting in real work. Putting in real work. So. No, I love that because, like, for me, it's, it's like, it's a big thing for me. I mean, I can't change my roots. I don't see how people be switching it up. You know um, what I'm saying? Like, I'm a real West Side of Atlanta girl. Like, I still will I knock it. you in your shit, but I want to be so conservative, and I want to be so about my money and my brand. Don't try it, but just know if you do try it, I'm going to be with the shit. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's what I feel like. That's what I'm going through. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, me, I'm 25. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just now, like, really just understanding how the world working, but I'm a business you person. Good. You know what I'm saying? When I jumped off, you know, I did, I was doing her. Like, but your, I'm mama the, your mama did a lot for you. She instored a lot in you, didn't it? Well, I'm more so like the person of the family. Like my mom and them, I take care of my mama, I take care of my yeah. daddy. Like, no, you know not what I'm taking care of, but like you looked at your mama be a hustler. You looked at your mama go through shit and it yeah, made you strong, Yeah, that's what it was. Right? That's, what, that's what it was. Yeah. Like I seen my mama get beat. So yeah. it's like, me, I just had to be that man and like just stood up and be a man and just be there. You know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Had to be the man. Like, trauma. Oh, uh, even the little so man you, that, you know you what I'm saying? You turn into, no, you, yeah. you saying right? It don't matter because whatever, you still that nigga. Period. So, um, you de basically turned your pain into power. That part, always. Yeah. I yeah. love it. All right, Jonathan. So, today we're going to get into the juice of the juice. We're going to get into the bad boys clubs. We're going to get into. A few different um, altercations that you got into and just what you think about the beauty industry, what you think changed the game, what are some of your things that you like that changed the game to make mm -hmm. the game a better uh, situation. Right. And just a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. And we're going to cook some steak and potatoes because yeah, what real hood you going to go into and don't have? Your mom going to cook gonna be it. loaded potatoes. No, we can make them loaded. Oh, yeah, we, we can chop make up a, a little steak we can and throw it up in but, there. Oh, like, yes. Yeah, okay, cheese. let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be back and forth asking you questions. First, let me get right. Let me, because I, I got so much shit. I just want to ask you for real, for real. But I'm going to get the pans and stuff ready. We're going to wash our mm -hmm. hands. Um, So how was it filming with, like, Bad Boys Club? Like, how was it? it what was, was the best thing that you say you could, that you took out of it? I would say um, the best thing that I took out of it It's like me, I'm kind of already who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I started, to, my first time going on the show, like, I kind of mm -hmm. seen how TV was, how they work, mm -hmm. how, like, they do the things that they do. And I just feel like it's just like being who you are. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I already got, like, people already adapt to me, Your my energy, my personality, it's and everything. It's so full of life. It's so dope. And that's what I just try to give off. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I walk in the room, I just try to give off good energy, uh -huh. life, everything. Yeah. When, every, when anything else go elsewhere, that be them. But when I went on TV the first time, like, you know, I had that, that fight and stuff. Uh-huh. And I'm like, damn, like. This was the you, people. You beat the shit. The dog shit. <laughs> the dog like, shit. Like, wait, so you used to be in your old neighborhood just fine. Your mommy. No, mommy's... no. But I used to, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be that person that used to record all the fights in the hood. For real? Like, every time it's a fight, I'm that person that they, everybody gonna know that Jonathan got the fight. Uh huh. But, like, 
I don't get like, I'm not that person. I don't like to fight. I don't like, because I just know what energy that creates. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about me, I'm going to protect myself. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn. And like, you know what I'm saying? This is my first time. What's that, friend? Some ribeyes. You got to have the ribeyes. You got to have the ribeyes. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so wait, so you was that person that, you know, was recording a fight. But yeah, I was the person that used to always record the fights, but I always knew how to fight. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? When yeah. you're in the hood, like, you'll record a fight, a motherfucker run up on the cameraman. Yeah. Like, yeah. bitch, run up on me if you want to. Like, <laughs> no, nah, but um, yeah. I just, you know what I'm saying? When I had started growing up, I should have adapted. I started doing her. Mm -hmm. And it moved me into. Did like, your mama do hair? No. Who did hair? Your did family? Because usually somebody do hair. So, me, I'm just that type of person, like, I used to just like to make people look good. I wasn't even me doing her. Too. Like I just used to dress you. Say I was that. Me I was just too. that boy in the hood that like, be like I'm. Let me dress you. Let me let make me you look make good. You, look, you know what I'm saying? Too. From the clothes, from the whole look. Like I wouldn't even necessarily call myself a her. I mean, God, that was the gift that God blessed Gave, me with. Oh you know what I'm saying? God, to make it you out. Sound like me so bad. Like for real. So you like when like I did when I was started doing her, it was like this is what God's calling me for. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I really, you know what I'm saying? Listen to His call and just walk into. That, yeah. but I was just dressing people like dressing my mom and my cousin and them like, mm -hmm. damn, like, girl, why your hair looking like this? You need to fix this. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then one day I was, I had started working with this lady. Mm -hmm. I mean, this girl named Just Brittany, and mm -hmm. shit, I just got into the industry like that. So you would say like, Just Brittany was the person that gave you your chance. She was the person that gave my chance. Like she was, um, I like that. yeah, she was the person that gave my chance. Like when I say I was like literally driving from Dallas to Houston, like, do, I, her hair. do her. I was doing it for free. No, I was dressing her. Okay. I was styling her. Like I was okay. paying the boosters in the hood. Uh -huh. I was paying the boosters to go get clothes, and I was dressing her as like a wardrobe stylist. Really? And then, shoot, that's how I was a wardrobe stylist. <laughs> like and then uh -huh. I came into doing her one time. One time she was at the B2 Awards, her hairstylist built on her. And I was like, let me be your hairstylist. Like, you For know what I'm real? saying? I, I'm like, I could do all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I did it. It went viral. Then, like, I was probably like 19, mm -hmm. 19, 20. Damn. Then I just started doing her, like, full time. Start killing it. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us, like, a list of people of hair you done did? I done did Lil Kim, Keisha Cole, Nicki Minaj, wow. Ashanti, Doja Cat. Dej Loaf, Megan Thee Stallion, Asian Doll, um, Kiki Palmer. Oh man, um, that's dope. I done did a whole lot of people. Who is your favorite person that you? Erica Badu. For Look, real, Erica I Badu. love Erica, Erica Badu. Badu. That's my, that's my. Bitch, you better call like, Tyrone. I yeah. love Erica. No, cook, we gotta cook some rice. Okay, we, we, we can. No, 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 for real. We gotta throw some rice on because Eric Badu say you ain't you ain't no bad bitch if you can't cook rice. Oh, I can definitely cook. So some I need rice. to. Hold I on, love some sugar Hold rice. On, like, wait a minute. Like you gotta bring the minute. rice out. Wait like, a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. When I say Eric Badu love the rice, baby. Oh my God! Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get the rice. Look. Heavy on the rice. Heavy on the Heavy rice. Heavy on the rice. Okay, we'll get the rice. But Eric Badu, like, when people don't understand, like. My dream was like when I said I literally came from the hood, like I stayed in the projects, like I used to have a candy house. Like yeah, me you know too. what I'm saying? So Freeze me, the cup, candy like, house. Cool cups, cool like cup. stop playing. Mm -hmm. The nacho place, yeah. everything. Like yeah. so people don't We used understand. to have to jump the wall to get to the candy lady. Everything. I to, every now I be growing up like damn, I wish I wasn't so rough, but I ain't had no choice but to be. You know what I'm saying? People, so many fucking scars and shit on my legs, but it remind me of what. But I right, and that's how that's what keep you motivated mm -hmm. to keep. You know what I'm saying? That fire and helping other people and the people that's coming. You know what I'm saying? So bad. Like, I feel like for me, I always had a passion of making like people that didn't feel woo! good. Oh, let me put some. Oh, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> let me put a little, a little juice in that thing. So I feel like for me, I always had a passion for people that like less fortunate or because where I came from. When I tell you, my ex will tell you like, he'd be like, why don't you just give your money away? I feel like I work. I feel like God got me here and put me in this position so that I can help other people. Nah, for real. I feel like this is not just for me. It is not. You know what I'm saying? When I literally, literally, literally the way I give, I, it's next level. What you gotta, me, I'm level. telling you what you gotta realize, 
me, I found my name in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So I understand, like, my journey. I understand, like, everything that I've gone through, like, everything that I go through, I understand, like, you know what I'm saying, what it's for. Mm -hmm. And I understand this is God's purpose. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When you come, like, you, like just us coming together, like, this is, like, this opening is like opening life for a lot of other people that's, mm -hmm. ju that just can lose faith tomorrow. Yeah. But this, you know what I'm saying, that'll motivate them. Yeah. Because we, they know where we came from. You where know what we I'm saying? Where we came from, exactly. So it's like. You know how many people I get, like, damn, Sierra. I had a baby at 15. I was a teen mom. Or Sierra, I'm from the hood. I did this, this, this. People told me I wasn't gonna do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we really giving it. We really giving other people that motivation to keep going for real. No, and for what real. I love about you for real is that how down to earth you is. You how I am. You hit me a like, friend. I'm ready to come on the show. Yeah. Like I, when I say I love and live for that, I yeah. was like. Oh my God, because a piece of me, I have to pinch myself every day and wake up like, I'm really staying in the penthouse. I'm no, let really... me tell you what I love about you. Stop playing. You, done, you Like you said, you came in the beauty industry and you done, you know what I'm saying? You done stopped, stepped out of it and changed the game. You came in the beauty industry and changed the game, but you stepped out of it and started changing the game in other lanes. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> That's the thing of being a boss. Like, yeah. And not even that, just changing the mindset, the atmosphere, and you know what I'm saying? Keeping it going. Mm -hmm. People don't know how hard it is to keep stuff like that going and yep. just, you how know what I'm saying? How to change up, how to do more than one thing. Everything, you know yeah. what I'm saying? How, so like, whatever we touch, turn to gold. But you know, that's God's anointing, though. Everybody can't do that. That ain't yeah. easy for that's everybody. That's why you're a chosen one. Yep, and you yeah. is, too. We the chosen ones. For real, for real, we is. But, All right, so, wait, real quick. Every, let me tell you how a bad bitch made rice. It's I'm real simple. The only thing is, every cup of rice, you put two cups of water and it comes out perfect. Two cups? Yeah, so every cup like of... Like two cups of that or two cups of like... So this. like this is a cup, right? This is one cup. So you'll fill this up two times to every one cup. So I'm making two cups of rice. Okay. So I'm going to put four of these in here. You just said two. So two cups of every one cup. So I put two in here. So that means so, I got to put four. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So how many cups is this? This is about to be four cups because I did two cups of rice. So okay, to two every, cups of rice and then, okay, so each cup, if it's one cup, that means two, two waters. Yep, All right. yep, so you're going to do four cups of rice. See, we need this for the I mean, four people. cups of water, yeah, for real, because <laughs> I might be one of them. Because <laughs> Bitches stay calling nah, me real. slow in the They're going to be like, baby, I put two cups of water in there and it's still dry. <laughs> so so you make did. sure you put two cups, if, if you're putting one rice in there, put two cups of water in there. If you're putting two cups, put four cups of water. Bring to a boil. Okay. You're going to put you some butter in there. And Ooh. then, of course, you're going to put... some sugar put, in there for you? I could put some sugar in there for you. Okay. Yep. I'm going to let you taste it first to see how you like That's it. That's that Mexican rice. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, yeah, a little Spanish. A little, got a little season to it. That's that. that yellow, it's yellow rice, yeah. So you're going to put a tablespoon of um, butter. butter in there. Well, okay. that was a little bit more than a tablespoon. What you're you going to bring that to a boil. I'm going to let you season up the steak. So, of course, y'all already know we're going to get into these juicy ribeye steaks. Um, Jonathan going to season it up with, of course, some Ghetto Girl East seasoning. Yeah, y'all better go shop. Got to have that Ghetto, ghetto Girl East. Y'all already know I got mine. And so, today we are actually introducing the spicy seasoning because this haven't actually dropped yet. But by the time this episode drops, my spicy going to come out because you know everybody went crazy for the regular really? one. So, I want you to taste the spicy one. Let me taste it. Well, let's open it up because it's getting See, very much I professional. Like, sauce. like that Mexican sauce, like the little, I like all that type of little sauce. I like, I'm a sauce girl. Like with my food, I have to have a sauce. Sauce seasoning. I'm sorry for a little bit. <laughs> what it mm. tasting like? It's good. Okay. okay. Sprinkle it on <laughs> us. Season it on us. Salt, baby. You better stop playing to come get my girl sauce. Yeah. Stop playing. So you're going to season it up real good with a Ghetto Girl East seasoning. Thank you. No, Thank this sauce you. is really good. It got a good aftertaste. It got a good taste? Mm hmm And then you really can get the taste on the... And I literally put this on everything. You do? Yes. For real, I do. And I'm not just saying that just because... It go on everything because... Oh. Oh. It got a little bit of everything in it. It had a garlic powder in there. And you made this sauce for Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. So it has the garlic. It has onion. So basically, the, the, the seasonings that you'll have in your kitchen, for real, that you'll be using, it has that on there. Oh. Okay. That's, okay, I like your... Oh. Okay, that's enough. Uh-huh. That look right good. There. A little bit more. 
sprinkle on these a little bit of the dry. Mm -hmm. That looks great, yes. Okay, and make good. sure y'all clean up after y'all sip. <laughs> All right. So once this comes to a boil, we got our rice back here. Once it comes to a boil, we um gonna put our steaks on because you know it the take steak. a little minute for the for the rice. We need to stir the rice? A little bit. And then once it starts boiling, you're gonna put this top on it. So while you're doing that, I have another question Ooh. for you. Okay, question. Okay, so we have this next question for you. How you feel about people trying to call you a bully? Like I hate when motherfuckers do that when you're trying to defend yourself. My thing is, I stand on business. And, like, a lot of people get missing screwed with my confidence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, um, I'm not nowhere not handling business. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. if I'm somewhere getting a bag, like, I'm not going to come there, like, you know what I'm saying, putting my energy on you. Like, I'm not coming there, like, you know what I'm saying, trying to mess with you or nothing. Like, I'm here for what I'm here for. So, if somebody mess with me, I feel like I don't have nobody that's, like, Oh, you know what I'm saying? Stop. If I'm there at the moment, I got to handle my business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because don't nobody know nothing about Jonathan. So yeah. it's like, stop playing with me. We all adults. Don't play yeah. with an adult like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like, at the end of the day, um, we got to defend ourselves. And it is what it is. If you come in the kitchen, I just told somebody this the other day with my cousin. She's seven years older than me. She said something slick. I said something slick back. But it was like, oh, I said the worst thing. It's like, don't come in the kitchen if you can't take the heat. And see, don't I'm not even me. one of them type of people that say slick stuff big. Like, I'm literally, like, you know how to do, like, people be just really m messy and doing, like, I don't come in the room playing that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, you say something, like, you say something slick to me, I'm about to check your ass. And that's what that is. Like, don't play with me. I really stand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't care because the world will see. Like, I'm not no bully. I, I, I'm for the people. Like, I, I'm the one that bully bullies. Okay. Like, that's who I am. Like, have you ever met somebody that be like, that, like, you know, somebody that's bullying somebody? Yeah, and then you somebody the one, that you like, me. oh, yeah, because what happened? Because what? Yeah. And they do too much to them, so they call you a bully. So it's like, I don't know, it's manipulative. So I, I have a question for you. Do you feel like uh, Orlando Brown is really like? Uh, <laughs> do you feel like Orlando Brown is really like a little spaced out, or do you Oof. feel like he be acting? I'm gonna say I feel like for being acting so long, um, it's part of it comes part of your character. You know what I'm saying? From us being like real, like he just be being, like, nigga, I'm from decent, nigga, like. A nigga, like, he just be real crunk, and people be like, oh, he out of his mind, he out of his mind. But then it's like, well, if you could do Bad Boys Club, how you out of your mind if you You're can not be, out your mind. You ain't I, out your mind, yeah. So my thing is, they're all in their right mindset. A lot of people that, what you see is what you get. And a lot of people bring, you know what I'm saying, they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So Orlando Brown is the person that knows what he's doing. Like, he's acting, but at the same time, it's more so like, you know what I'm saying, from acting so long, this becomes your personality. Yeah. So everything that you do, when the camera's on you or when you see a camera, you're going to act. You know what I'm saying? And he be humbly up. saying, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You just got out of jail. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just what so much different stuff. Him, he's delusional. Like, not saying like, and <laughs> like, I ain't just trying to be that type of person. Rez be like, he, he could be a cool person. Like, you have an option to be cool mm -hmm. and you have an option to you know, just be crazy and just show your ass. Yeah. So, like... I guess from you being on TV before, like, I feel like you feel like you have to act more or do more. You know what I'm saying? So he just give, like, when he's off camera, he's trying to, like, manipulate people. Like, I guess, like, to just do different things. But then when he on camera, he just start acting. And it's just like, why is you acting like that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, who so are it's you? like, where did this even come from? I'm, and I'm one of them type of people, like, I'm not in nobody where I'm not worried. Like, I'm not about to be over here. Oh, what you got going on? Like, mm -hmm. bitch, I'm here for a check. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Clearly. My check and I'm gone. That's me. Like, this is simple. As soon as they say cut with Love and Hip Hop, I be like, oh, we, they be, oh, we going. Uh, 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 Baby, I, before they even say cut, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone before I'm the gone. cut. Yeah. Like, they, they <laughs> yeah. have to Like, we done? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me ask you a question because a lot of people asking me, ask me this. Um, do you feel like reality TV has helped your career? No. Okay. It didn't. I'm going to, like, because more, I'm really who I am, like, and I don't know how to explain, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, I'm Jonathan, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I built everything, like, literally humbly saying, like, from the humblest mm -hmm. place in my heart, you I literally like built so everything bad. that I, you know what I'm saying, uh -huh. I came from nothing, like, and nobody never gave me a hand that people that shut me down, I literally found the way to go around, and it's still, that's why, I, like, I feel like people, like, love me, because they see, like, that I keep going, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but no I feel like what. TV, 
Um, reality TV put a dent on my career, but it can't put a dent on me because I'm Jonathan. Like, it just, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. When I started Zeus, I got a big bag. So, at a, before I did that, I opened my salon and stuff. And like, they you know what I'm saying? They say Zeus pay good. Yeah, Zeus pays real good. That's a company. I humbly say that pays real good. Look, humbly saying that, like, <laughs> Zeus pays good. Like, good, good. For real? Okay. So, like, my thing is, it's more so, like, that's the only reason why I took the bag, like, the opportunity, because I knew, like, I know the leadership that I have on a lot of people in the world yeah. is, like, I want to continue to lead. So I know, like, can't nobody come and um, put an image on me because I already built who I am. You know what I'm people saying? People know exactly who, who I am. Are. So the Do reality, you still got your monkeys? My monkey literally died, like, a week ago. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, like, Sorry my, for your yeah, mom. so I'm going, I've been going through that for the last week. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So, wait, you had two or one? I had two. Okay, yeah. so one died. No, one died two years ago, uh -huh. and then the other one died like literally a week ago. I was in New York. I was doing a tour of my shop, okay. like taking them on tour, and I left them. You know what I'm saying? With the babysitter, and he passed away. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. Damn, are you looking forward to get some new monkeys? I'm definitely gonna have ten monkeys. Like I'm about to have so many monkeys, but the thing is. Like, I'm still building my career. Like, I, I also believe, like, everything happens for God's reasoning. You know what I'm saying? Like, Me too. Like, God literally had to happen because that's like a child. A monkey's like a child. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how you had your child and you can't do nothing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or you, it's just, you could have been way further if you didn't have no children. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? To fire you to head. Mm -hmm. So, like, God tell me, like, this is the peak of my career mm -hmm. to leading a lot of people. Like, so... Sometimes he put heart like that hurting you so you can go harder. You know what I'm saying? So like this just making me go harder. Now I ain't got mm -hmm. no responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But my like my businesses that I have. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, stop playing. Wait, Eric, I got a question. Who he sound like for real? Speaking. No, just like his story, how he talking. Like just like me. When I tell you it's so crazy mm -hmm. because if I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. And that's why. I, that's why I like you. Like for real. Like I feel like you was, I'm talking to you myself. You was like, you know what I'm saying. You was a female version. Like you know what I'm saying. Kind of like me. Yeah. Because and it, and it's like it's crazy because it's like we get recognition, but we worked our ass off. It's not easy but recognition. It, they don't even got what we. The, they don't the recognition even, they they giving us is watered down. It's not even enough. It's not enough. What we, yeah. It's not even enough. But we but we'll take it though because we came we know, from there and we know what y'all trying and to do. and we know what y'all trying to do. It's like, oh, damn, I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so now you're going to cover it and you're going to tilt the top. This with the rice. You're going to cover it. You're going to lower the, um, the temperature nope. to low. And then you're going to tilt the top a oh, little bit. So it smells good. You put some of seasoning in there? I might have put a little bit in there okay. now. Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to lower the temperature a little bit. Crack the, the top. Maybe a lot of that seasoning in there. And then that'll be ready in like 20 minutes. Period. Then you got the steaks. This look good. This they look good. This look good, yeah. But dang, I really feel like I'm talking to myself. But yeah, like, and you know, that's how it is. Like, that's why it's a lane for, that's why a lot of people, that's why I feel like why I'm who I am. And even why whoop they ass on TV, because... Don't play, don't play with, me. with me. Don't play with me. You know, like, I don't when give a I damn first, okay, about ooh. none of that. Y'all can play with everybody else. But don't this play with me. This is my time to show you I was not to play with me. I'm exactly. the one that's not going to let y'all play with them. Exactly. So it's like, don't play with don't me. Don't play with me. Okay, so when I first came on the show on Love & Hip Hop, they was like, oh, they had me going to this security meeting, right? Mm -hmm. And they was like, you know, I was excited to be on TV. They found me in my shop in the hood. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to be on TV. All the bitch, I'm finna be on TV. They took, they put me in this interview. They was like, oh, well, you know, we don't condone fighting or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that may be, that may be their policy. You know, yeah. that is their policy. Bitch, they put me on that motherfucking TV, and them hoes were doing swinging, talking. Like, bitch, who you playing with? Looking crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hold on. But then remember, they gave me this whole shit in my head, so it's like, I don't want to be kicked off TV. I don't want to be kicked off TV. So I'm still kind of letting hoes slide, letting hoes slide. My first season, they gave me six episodes, but then it, they went crazy because they like, who is this Atlanta bitch? She young. She got shit going on. Yeah. She like a real Atlanta hood bitch. I came back on my second season. I'll start knocking every hoe out. Bitch, you get a knockout. You, you get, get a knockout. knockout. You... Bitch, you get a knockout. Because at this point, everybody playing, right? Mm -hmm. So that's when I hit the girl upside the person. We were just rumbling. They let us fight, fight. Like, yeah. I, I beat her and her friend up. But, and she moved out of Atlanta. 
But like I was like, yeah, because who planned? But that's everybody a, ain't But planned. I feel like a lot of people don't understand, like, and that's why people we don't have security guards that's protecting us. We don't, you know what I'm saying? No. And we're on TV getting a bag. Yeah. So a lot of people like. It's, TV is different from the real world. We're not yeah. out here fighting everybody, trying to... No. But, bitch, we're protecting ourselves. We you know what I'm saying? Even ourselves. with my first time on TV, like, bitch, I really went on there, like, really trying to get a motherfucking Cheryl room. Like, bitch, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not sleeping. Like, I need somewhere to sleep. So, <laughs> but the next time I see you is you come back with two... Really, it was eight people, but only two were shown on camera coming to fight me. What? And I'm like, I'm standing eight right here people? like... Bitch, I'm standing right here with my drink. Wait, ready so, to come the, party. so the... So the security don't be like, no, no, no. Them hoes want to test my gangster. They want so to they see. So they want to see how I really am. Because I'm like, bitch, why ain't no security? Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, bitch, y'all want to see who Jonathan is? Welcome to Texas, bitch. So I <laughs> whooped them hoes ass. Like, that's how I am. Like, mm -hmm. don't try to test me because I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't never but be one of But I will, though. Bitch, I would get dead in your ass. I will, though. Like, I don't, don't want to fight, me. but I will. Please, please don't make me fight because I would hate to go there, but and, bitch. But that's the thing really were like, but I feel like that's where also because I know who I am before TV. Uh-huh. So no matter what the internet is saying and they trying to call me a bully, I know everything that I did was escalated on their end. Like, everybody brought the drama that happened to them on their self. Yeah. And I still haven't lost a fight. Bitch still ain't gonna lose a fight. <laughs> and, and you, you know, ain't going down and I'm without not one. Because the thing is, yeah. I don't try to provoke nobody. I don't try to fight nobody. I don't try to put no dead energy on nobody. So one thing better God got in my foot says, bitch, you gonna get, bitch, you gonna always be my footstool. You gonna always be knocking hoes out for forever and always. Ever, because yeah. I'm not taking it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> me neither, Jonathan. I feel you <laughs> on that. Okay, so, ooh, this is kind of juicy. I don't know if, how you want to answer this one. Um... So like we I, we knew that we know that you was doing Megan Thee Stallion here, uh -huh. right? So did you feel like you had to pick sides between her and Kelsey, Kelsey and Megan? When Hell it no. Oh, okay. Hell no, that ain't got nothing to do with me. But the thing is. Hell no, they ain't got to pick sides. That ain't about. Hell no. You ain't have to pick sides. No, because the thing is, it's already understood. Bitch, I'm. Bitch, what I got with Megan, bitch. Bitch, I'm with Megan. Yeah. But not okay. even saying that, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But I still understand the situation. I know the situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, bitch, that's what it is. Okay. It's, but okay. the thing is, it's like, it's way deeper. I'm a real friend. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that was your friend. Like, Megan is your friend. Right. And okay. the only reason me and Megan are friends is because I'm iconic. You know what I'm saying? I'm iconic. Like, just like us being a beauty that's industry right. where we're together, right, I'm not going to be one of, like every other hairstylist that want to be up under one person. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I came in the lane of my own and I started my own lane. Yeah. And I never want to be known for one person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and, and Megan definitely going to link up in the future. Yeah. But right now, like, welcome to the right way world. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, everybody know who Jonathan is. And you know what I'm saying? So many different things. Yeah. And that's what that is. Because at the end of the day, that's why you want me to tell you some real raw shit. I'm looking the camera dead in the camera. I don't play celebrity business. I am who I am. I cater to regular working women, regular Everybody working got a business Stop people. Playing. I don't just, it's not that. So for me, you don't see me lollygagging and hanging with no bitches. For, for one, the reason why is because I don't like their attitudes. Now Dead I'm gonna speak for myself because I know you you may have uh, I don't I, I don't like y'all attitudes a lot of y'all and I'm speaking very transparent. I feel like a lot of y'all unhumble and I just can't fake kick it. I'm not about to sit and this is why I work my motherfucking yeah. ass off and this is why I don't have when I made that video, I don't go to no Instagram parties, I don't gotta fake kick it. I turn up on niggas, I turn up on bitches. I really meant that because I can Simply because this lane, God gave it to me. And can't, can't nobody, nobody take, take it away. Bitch, can't nobody take, can't nobody take, so take anybody, it away. They be talking about, can't nobody, can't nobody take, take shit away. Nothing. When I saw I built every piece of my life together, bitch, I came from jail. I came from nothing. Everywhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? I went through everything by myself in God. Yeah. So God got every footstep I wake so up and do. So if I decide to wake nothing. up and say, oh, I'm not fucking with this person, fucking with that person, I can do that because simply because... I'm her. Like I don't need no celebrity. When I when I drop something, I never once asked nobody. When I my glam tour literally had thousands of thousands. We man, we we ran a bag up for a whole five years. But the thing is, I never asked nobody to right. promote my tour ever. But ever. the thing is, 
people fuck with us off the strength of who we are. Yeah. The internet try to play you like, yep. oh, regular, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, we need somebody. No, bitch. People fuck with us off the strength of we, who we yep. are. Every client that I got yep. came to me because I am what the other person wasn't. Yeah. And people fuck with me because I am what the other person wasn't. And that's why I feel like we don't need nobody, but we utilize people because that's what they, you know what I'm saying? They utilize us. Yeah, they and utilize us. They utilize us. You know, us. I always say I utilize everybody. I and utilize. That's what it is. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to utilize. That's just out of respect, cause I want a motherfucker to utilize me. Don't sit around me and just be don't looking sit around at me, me. Just thinking, bitch, we just, bitch, just in here, just. This no, one, like, what, uh -uh. what am I about to see? What are you doing? What, <laughs> what are like, we doing? <laughs> Okay, let me show y'all real quick. A lot of people be want to know how to make breakfast potatoes or pan seared potatoes. What you want to do, what you really doing is, it's so simple. You we put mashed potatoes or potatoes? Potatoes. So basically you put you some grease in a pot. And the reason how they become so seasoned and so good and like brown, you want to just burn the seasoning on the potatoes. So the only thing that's in here is the ghetto girl eat seasoning. You can see all the seasoning at the bottom of the pan. Okay. And we using the spicy seed. And you see I'm using the same seasoning. Watch how good this shit be. Ooh. And you gon' just <laughs> why you don't put no pineapples in there? In here? Yeah. I ain't never had no potato with no pineapples, and I don't got no pineapples. Next okay. time we'll do okay. the pineapples. Okay. You gotta, <laughs> I gotta come into Jonathan's kitchen, and then you <laughs> just gonna burn, let those sear for a little minute, burn them, cook, and they'll be ready in like twenty minutes too. So we got that rice going. It smells so good. It right? smells good, baby. I'm ready. To... Make sure you tilt it. Remember how we said tilt it a little bit so it get that little like end out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm being ghetto, look. look. All right, we're going to let no, that crank on up. Um, So, yeah, so I, I, I'm i glad that we got that in coming because it's like, this. We God gave us this lane. So if God give you some, he, can't no, can't no also, man take it away from you. I also want to speak, say something like this. Like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, also the lane that God gave us, like, you know, with us building, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna say mm -hmm. I never had like a real team, like or people that just really just looking and just be like, damn, John, you really work hard. Like, let me try to help you or like, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So I kind of go you was, hard. Yeah, you, you know was like you played a lot of positions. A lot. I recently, just this year, 2022, got a team of like eight people. For a long time, it was me and Trina. She like she like the um, the manager over all my my mm -hmm. company. She been with me 15 years. Period. It was just me and her. It was me and her yeah. 15 straight years. She remember me being on the west side in Atlanta. She used to work a, a, a regular job. And I used to always tell her, come work for me, come work. She worked a um, corporate job. And she used to be like, you cannot afford me. You cannot afford me. When I tell you one day in the hood from us doing brows, I said, I can, I can afford you now. I can yeah. afford you. And she straight dropped her job and came with me. And she, yeah. she get on my nerves, a real Sagittarius bitch. She get on my nerves. She be all over the place. But... Loyalty over everything for me. And that's what it is. And that's what it means more than everything because that's what you that's how you want to get farther. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Having somebody that really understand what you're going through, what you the business that you're trying to run, and you know what I'm saying? I literally just fired three motherfuckers in my shop. Really? A one one assistant or you know what I'm saying, that mm -hmm. I felt I fired him two years ago. And really? I just tried to give him the opportunity to come back because he do work good. Yeah. But his ass is a sneaky motherfucker and I fired like they gotta go. So, so yeah. wait, you know I have a shop too. Whenever you want to come by and do your but hair tour. I need tour, to do it while I'm out here. Yeah, do it. I'm about to go on tour, so I need to do my tour class there. Do your tour class here. It's okay, huge. Stop the glam shop is huge. You can do it whenever you're ready. Oh, baby, I'm stop playing. Yeah. Tour class. Yeah, glam and shop. I own the building, so you could do whatever. Yeah. Okay, so what's like for, what's next? What is next for Jonathan Wright? So I'm actually doing my tour right now. So um, right now I'm on an influencer tour. Mm -hmm. Um, that's just like with a couple of influencers, but in two, three weeks, I'm starting the right way tour. And that's going around like being a motivational speaker, like giving people like game on. We need on. to do something together. We can. Like, I you would come, love that. I, I'll come out of retirement and do something with you. Come on, let's for do the real. tour together. And for real, I'm for real. I'm dead serious. I would love I'm to. going by myself. I got my tour bus. I got me a assistant, graphic designer. I'm doing everything I by myself. I would love that. Cause, and I feel like the world would love to see that. And they'll love us. I really shut down. I went straight for five years. And I just, I was like, this year, like, I start cooking. And God, so and good. And then, no, you can't even, like, stop playing. You Like, so what I'm doing is a motivational tour. I mean, the like, from, like, 10 in the morning to, like, 2, it's going to be a motivational class. Mm -hmm. Then, like, from 2 to, like, 6, it's going to be a her class. So I'm going to do, like, weird classes. And then we can and do microblading. 
Yeah, you that's what I'm saying. We can shit. do all of it into it. Like, we you know what I'm saying? Now, I am. I have started, like, um, it's called a thousand women. So, basically, what I'm doing is I'm I'm getting a thousand women. I'm going to different states. My first one is September 16th. I would love to have you. And I'm mm -hmm. just, like, motivating, showing how the numbers is stronger together. Like, if we stand together, we will be part. much better. Like, talking about shit like this, like, how to grow your business, what you really need for social media, what you really need for just real world of just working and growing hard in your in your businesses, or how to even start a business. So um, it's a thousand women, and it's just motivational. So I think that'll I'm be ready. yeah. You should come to that. But on the other, on the flip side, I would love to. For Let's real, we should talk about it. When is that story? The thousand September sixteenth. That's the first one in Atlanta. So when you want me to y'all coming to Texas? We we coming to Miami, Texas. It's gonna be all right. women. Well, we got like some men speaking because you okay, know yeah. we come from y'all. We come from a real. Tour? Yeah, we're gonna go to like. I mean, I need four, to be on there, stop yeah, we only coming to like four cities. Yeah. Texas needs to be one of them. Yeah. Dallas. No, for real. And I'm on there. Stop playing. Okay, so let me ask you because I know you like love. You such a Dallas person. What's the difference with, that you will say between Dallas and Houston? Because everybody just be like Houston, Houston, Houston. Houston, like they got like. Beyonce, they got people that's like, that's a, like, you know what I'm saying, leading their culture, like, you know what I'm saying, and that's just giving, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. what kind of sometimes what needs to be gave, like, you know what I'm saying, Dallas is more so a homegrown, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. you really, like, you only kind of got Erica Badu, and Erica Badu is a legendary, she, like, she's a real NBA person. Oh, she person. from Dallas. Yeah, she from Dallas, mm -hmm. but she don't even, like, you know what I'm saying, like, be, like, she a real energy person, like she's what? a she's a like a queen. So yeah. she don't even you know when queens they don't step off their throne like yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. But she still show love. No, I, I love you but know I, I love Erica. Uh -huh. Right, but I'm like I feel like I'm like the new leader for Dallas. Yeah. Like, so I'm like trying to bring it. so much to Dallas. Like I and love it's not, it. I'm like shit. That's what I'm doing. I got a close homeboy. He's very spiritual. He's like a prophet. His name is Brennan. He's mm -hmm. from Dallas. And I know Brennan. You, you got like, a show. Yeah, you know I, I know Brennan. Yeah, uh -huh. Brennan is real good. He, he good. He's sweet. You know he can see stuff. Huh? He, you know he can see stuff. I ain't know that. <laughs> Brennan can see like a... He been he, trying to get me on his show. Yeah, he's good. I love him a whole lot. So um, I was giving Brennan hell. Yeah, I was giving Brennan hell like, too. I was like, because... You got to give people hell yeah. to you to stop playing. Listen, I was giving him hell too, but let me say, when I give him hell, I literally, it came back around full circle, so I had to come. Me and Eric was beefing. We end up making up that day, going out, and see, his homeboy FaceTimed him and put him on the phone. Now, he was trying to reach out to me through some people, and I'm like, mm-mm, mm. who that? I'm not about to be bothering him, no, no. but I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> when they sent me his page, I kind of was just like, no, nah, because I ain't know he, you, not just because who he was and his followers and then I'm just like, who is he? Like, he's spiritual, he did, That's he right. did, like, what's going on? But I was all, I would, like, late night just go and look on his page, like, I wonder who this is, like, mm -hmm. who the fuck is this? So my spirit was drawn to him. And then one day we got into it and he was, his friend FaceTimed him on the phone and I'm like, he was like, I'd been trying to get you on my show and I just mm -hmm. like, I'm coming for free. Fuck yeah. it. I'm just coming. See, me, my thing, I'm going to tell you with him. I mean, he's a real good person. Okay, tell me. But like me, me I was going to come on his show. No, 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 no. No, he's a good person. But like, I feel like, you know, like how we come from nothing and like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of like, I feel like I be wanting to test people's faith and test what people, you know what I'm saying, really about. Mm -hmm. So when um, he, okay. You put a little rosemary in there for a little taste. What rosemary do? Give it. It just got a real strong, defined taste, and it's so good. A green taste? Or like uh -uh. Good? It's like a season. You probably don't taste it. Once you taste these potatoes, you're going to be like, oh, I don't had this before. Okay. Mm hmm But he, um, I was like, I got to put people through work. Because, like, mm -hmm. like, he's a good person. I'm like, I want to come to your show. I'll come to your show. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? The energy that you give. Mm hmm But I was like, you got to pay me some money. Yeah. Because, oh, I said, no, I said, you even got to. I said you got to do me a nice setup, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Make it more like inviting, like make it like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That, make it make make me feel like oh you want me on your show. Yeah. Don't yeah, make yeah, me feel yeah. like I just come to your show. And and you just doing it, and I don't really know who you is, and you you know what I'm but, saying. But like he's a good person. That's yeah. the only reason why I was like I do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying. But it's like, yeah. Hell it nah. was giving a lot. <laughs> it, was it was like <laughs> it was giving too much. It was giving. And I kicked his ass to the curb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brittany, we love you. We're going to come do your show another say my, time. Say my cash <laughs>
<laughs> okay. All right. So next question. All right. What is the most annoying thing about doing celebrity women hair? Oh, I could talk about doing the makeup, but please get into it. Um, they when people trying to tell you what they what they like, mm. but I that, well I wouldn't even say that's the most. No, oh, this is the most annoying thing. I'm finna when say a bitch asks me about somebody else, don't ask me about nobody else. Like, don't ask me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a drama fire person. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. that's the most annoying thing because. That's the most annoying thing. Please don't, like, like, I got enough energy right here for I you. I got enough shit going on. Please don't ask me shit about nobody else. Nobody else. Okay. What about you, So, baby? the most annoying thing, I just keep pouring and pouring. Baby, we done pulled we it finna, out. We done pulled it out. We got some more coming. So, the most annoying thing about, let me get front and center. You, they don't think I'm fucking a mad black woman with fucking celebrity people. What? But I don't care because I talk. No, but hold on. Don't ever. We just telling y'all the the bad, the yeah. things that we don't. Because it's, 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 it's a lot of good. 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 So one of the things that I don't like about that I did not like when I was doing makeup for celebrity people is that they didn't like to pay. Like, yeah. they hated to pay. Yeah. Like, what, what make you think, like, I got kids, I got bills and shit, I got shit going on, why don't you want to pay? You know, I believe God allowed me to go through a lot of the shit that I went through as a makeup artist so that I wouldn't be none like them. Yeah. When I, nobody have ever touched no, 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 my no, no, face or hair or styled me for free. Nobody can't say they ever styled me or did my hair or none of that shit for free because I don't believe in it. You do a service for I'm me. I'm going to do it for free for you. I'm going to still pay no, some, not, though. Uh -uh. I'm still going to pay something. Because it's a gift. Sometimes it's, it's a gift. Like me, when I do it for free, it's either like, because I, I see something in you or I like, you know what I'm saying? I see, you know what I'm saying? You done did something or it's more so like, this is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, but I stop now. I owe you a sale, friend. Cause stop but you know girl. what? But you know what, too, Jonathan? I be, I be trying to like get out of my own way because my husband be telling me, um, everybody know I'm married now. He be telling me, like, stop being like that. And I got to stop that, like, like that mentality. I got to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, you could tell I'm talking out of hurt and trauma. Yeah. I had girls to hurt me. I had girls to promise me they was going to post my work and never did. And then, so I'm yeah. not going to say, because I say to my money monsters all the time, sometimes you got to give a little something to get a little something in return. And it's okay to do it. But I be talking out of hurt and just on like, my no, no. money monster shit. And I be like, fuck that. When they people... did me wrong. They didn't fuck with me. Did it, did it. When I was fat and doing makeup, they did me like that. But I got to get out of my own that's way. A, that's, and that's a real true thing. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people could get in their own way and block a lot of their own blessings. Yeah. Like, and that be the main thing because um, I know a lot of people, like, you know what I'm saying? It's still stylists that's going through that to this day. But I tell them, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it happened. You know what I'm saying? But don't block your blessing. Don't like, block you know your saying? blessing. Because you could come from... Because if Beyonce caught me, I'm going for free. Bitch, who, bitch. <laughs> I'm going for free. Beyonce, I'm leaving the show right now. <laughs> like, I'll come back, Sierra. Yeah. Stop playing. Like, yeah. No, but for real, like, Beyonce, I'm still waiting. I'm waiting. Tina, too. Solange, whoever. Anybody. Anybody. The kids, Blue Ivy. Stop Ivy, playing. Solange, children, like... Baby, I was start brain just for Blue Ivy. <laughs> like, for real. I even just... Call them to her. Just yeah. shape it. But now I tell a lot of people that because of the simple fact, they can't, like, that do, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It can build some heat. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. know. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't like that. Yeah. But I just rather let people see because they're going to always come back around. Yeah. That's how the world works. Yeah. That's how it works. You got to come works. back around. You going to. Bitch, you either gonna pay me now or later. <laughs> exactly. And I promise later it's gonna I'm it's I'm gonna add be my some. late fees. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be some real late fees. Yeah, no, I get it. I understand. I just feel like sometimes I'd be talking out of trauma and hurt a lot. Even in my relationship, I'm just like, I had to make motherfuckers feel me. But that's also what builds you, and you gotta make motherfuckers feel you. So don't feel I bad. I still feel like now yeah. this day though, I gotta make motherfuckers. Like I feel like I still ain't. Like, I made my mark, but I got really to you, put my baby, shit. Baby, it's time to tighten the shoes up and get yeah, back. And you, get in that was the old pair of shoes. You done put the new ones on. And baby, stop like, time to <clears> ruffle these up. Ruffle them up. Like, I used to have one pair of Chanel shoes that I started doing my tours with, and I would not 
never more, uh, do another pair. I remember I left them bitches in the airport. Bitch, I went back to the airport. No, Just, I went back to the state. I had to catch, catch, catch the airport back to the state. They was like, we'll mail them to you. I was like, no, nah, I, need I need them. These shoes. I need them. So I really feel like I need to put on a new pair. Yeah, stop And playing. get back in Go there. Go buy you some special parts to get the work in. Every day throw the motherfucking shoes on. Bitch, it's time to work. What would you say, like, what were some of your best moments in doing hair? Like, what was that moment where you was like, okay, this is where I need to be? When I actually, like, made it to the awards, my first awards show. You like, cried? Yeah, I cried. I cried. I'm not lying. I still cried. I still cried. I'm not lying. I'm going to the bathroom like, God, I, I thank you. you so much. I like, don't even supposed no to be what, here. No matter what, I don't give a damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? I uh -huh. cry every time. Yeah. So, like, when... I'm going to say this, when, even when I did Nikki, Nikki and all them, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers was trying to stop my shine and be a part of, like, you know what I'm saying, and go on the internet and just, you know what I'm saying, be, just try to, you know what I'm saying, bitch, how I came from the hood, like, I came from the motherfucking hood and I did Nicki Minaj her, like, that's Lil' That's all Kim, that matters. That's all that matters, like, you know what I'm saying, uh -huh. I went to the bathroom and cried and was like, God, I thank you so much for... You know you what I'm saying? still can cry thinking about it, right? Stop playing. Shut up, cry, man, but I ain't gonna do it. That's a, I ain't gonna lie. Even with just me being on the show, I'm so appreciative. Even with the show, because the thing is, I know what I came up to be. Yep. I came up to be a leader. I'm leading a lot of people in. In the fighting, I still, like, don't let nobody try y'all. I stand yeah. on it. Don't let nobody try you, especially the people that know. Yeah. There's people that's manipulative in this world that'll try to run game on you. Yeah. And you just... A cool person. Your mama was a real, real Your mama woman. Your mama a real woman. She was a real woman. My mama a real woman. Like, she, she don't play. She was a real woman. Yeah, she was. My mama is too. I wish she was here. She'll be here in a minute so you can meet her. She was that girl for, for real. real. Real hustler. In and out of prison my whole life. Just like, and she did what it, she needed to do to take care of her kids, but she'll get a, the shirt off her back to anybody. See, that's my mama. Anybody. She'll leave I feel her. like my mama showed me how not to be... So giving, mm -hmm. like my mama is giving. My mama give everything. Have us sleeping on the street. Yep. And For other give, folk. Like, I'm like, hold on, my <laughs> bitch. It, it cannot be like this uh -huh, now. Uh -huh. So, but like my mama is my queen. Like you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So like that's who I do it for. Like yeah. my mama and my daddy. I'm just like my daddy. But like my daddy went to prison, so mm -hmm. it was like I had to be the man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it was like stop playing. Yeah. So you do have a good relationship with your father. Oh yes, but we be getting into it. Y'all do. Like, like my daddy, he a and hustler he be too. With the shit, That's where so. I get the hustling from. He literally, I bought a car from him. Uh -huh. He sold my car. Like, okay, so like me, I be buying like cars. Like mm -hmm. I buy a car. Like he go to the auction and he'll he'll have a car for like six, seven thousand uh dollars. -huh. I bought a car. So I bought a Benz like three years ago, and I had the car just parked in my house. Uh huh. One day I let him drive the car. And I ain't even just asked for the car for like three to four months. I'm like, damn, where my car is? One day I'm driving through South Dallas in the hood. I see somebody driving my car. Uh-huh. I'm like... Not it was your daddy. No, it wasn't him. Who was it? It was somebody else. What? Like a, a, like a dude, a old, like a grown like dude. I'm like, I literally bust the windows out the car. He talking what? about, oh, I just bought this car. I said, bitch, you couldn't bought this car. So that's when me and my daddy be getting into it. Like, uh -huh. he's a hustler, but it's... It's like funny. Uh -huh. It's like that nigga made for TV. Uh -huh. Like for real. You ever thought about breaking him on? I did break him on. But oh, you did? We be getting into it. Bad. Like we be getting into it. So it's like I can't what's break him on because we be getting into it. I always ask what's everybody's time. What's your daddy's time? I think he I think he a Gemini. Crazy hustler motherfucker. I think he's a Gemini. <laughs> when your birthday? birthday? Mine May 24th. I, when he I think he is like Is June, he June what? June 16th? He a Gemini. He a for sure Gemini. June 16th. But y'all got like a love-hate relationship. No, we got a love-hate relationship. Yeah. I love him. Like, uh -huh. I love him because like I understand what he do. Mm -hmm. But it's like when it comes to me, don't play. Don't play with me, Daddy. Like you see, I'm out here trying to get it myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Friend, what we over here doing? So we got the potato. You see how those potatoes browning real good and that seasoning just sticking and burning all on them. Mm. And this will be a great thing. A Man, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> a great definition. This shit about to be so good. This will be a great definition of. Um, Ooh, see, that's ready. Rice. It's ready. You see how perfect and fluffy that, that rice is? Hold on. Get a um, thing down there so you can. That second one. 
Oh, you, that's perfect. Look at it, that's perfect right there. Oh, bro. Look at that, look how fluffy that rice is. Ooh. See how it's perfection? Ooh. I'm about to take this whole pot. It's so good. And then we burning them potatoes. We got the, um, the ribeyes going. Yeah, what about do? I think she knows what she doing. I know what I'm doing. I remember one time, right? I don't know if, um, well, I know she probably don't because she a real legend, so she ain't remember no bullshit. I remember um, Erica, Ooh, this, we was on, what, what is that? What is it called? Oh, this called? smells so good for It real. smell good. This smell good for This real. shit finna be so good. What is that? The verses. And I was like, this shit came out when I was 12. And she told me, like, yeah, because she told me, and Erica replied back, some said, yeah, and I was two. Trying to be funny. I was like, Erica, I might look old, but I really was 12 yeah. when this shit came out. Who was on the verses? I can't even remember who was on there. I think it was Monica. Monica and somebody. It's good. Oh, that's so good. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. Look at that steak, though. Ooh! With that butter going. Friend, that's... Baby. Y'all ain't good, baby. <laughs> it's so good. Baby. You better stop playing. And then you gonna burn that um, garlic, that flavor. What's this pot for? For the aesthetic. <laughs> for the aesthetic. <laughs> yup, it need to move. Move that pot for Uh-huh, move it. We need this pot right here. Uh-uh, move it, move it. They need to see this. Look at that. And then all that butter. And you know you, you got You don't have no hot sauce on her? Yeah, we don't. Not while it's cooking. Why not? You do it while yours while you cook. Why so it can marinate in the meat? You want to put a little bit on there? Put a little bit on there. Okay. <laughs> put a little bit on there. Not it's a little hot it. sauce. I'm sorry. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Put a little hot sauce on there. And then you want to take it and you want to make sure you base your steak with all that good garlic butter and that juice from the um mm -hmm. from the garlic. Put a little bit of hot sauce on there. You want it on yours mm -hmm. too? Put it on my mm-hmm. Mmm. So I'm put that salt. Uh, put that base back on it. Stop playing with no, that ghetto girl sauce. Bit, uh -huh. The seasoning. Cause you know we only season it with the ghetto girl eat. Mm -hmm. No, that look good though. Not for real. Look at that. How you like your steak? Well done. Oh, ghetto beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ghetto beach. I don't need no pink meat in there. To my well done. <laughs> Oh my god. How you like yours? Medium, medium. I used to like Will, but I like Will. My twin meat. like his um food like rare, like not Me. why y'all like that? I don't know. It just tastes better. You what you mean it tastes better? You get to enjoy the steak better like that. Not me, baby. Cook mine <laughs> all the way through. You like your will. I don't need no When I be posting on Instagram, I be like, oh my god, see everywhere. But what? don't that look so good? Cause I be having it pink. Them look good. These look so good. You gonna love these. That look good. I love mashed potatoes. You do? I love potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. You like rotel, so you like so you put some rotel on top of that? Oh I like my song. god. And my, <laughs> with my rotel dip. No, for real. <laughs> for real. Wait, so who in, in like the industry, who will be your favorite female artist? Oh God. Who would be my favorite female artist? I like Ken the Man. Who? But like Ken the Man. Who is that? Ken the Man? Ken the Man. Oh, Ken the Man. She, she go hard. Who is Ken the Man? You gotta look into her. You gonna love her. I'm telling you, you gonna love her. But you, you marry so. But you gonna still love her. For real? Ken the Man. And also, I like. Um, who I'm liking right now? I like Sexy Red. I love Sexy Red. That's my twin. Oh, you know who I, I love? love Sexy Red. You know who I love? Who? But I'm Stun who? Stunner Girl. Oh, yeah. Stunner Girl, too. Stunner Girl. I want her on my show. I love her. I've Stunner been Girl? Just, I, I can hit her up right now. She'll come. Yes, tell her, please. I'm getting for you. Have for real. My daughter. I want you to meet Paris, too. My daughter would love if Stunner Girl to come. I'm going to have her come on here for you. Girl, we just we, about to call we her, right call after the her show. Cause we definitely be repping her song all the time. You need to have, who would I say you should have on this? Um, to get some good juice and just to hear they, you know, they side of the story. You don't need to get a bad bitch like Megan. 
I love Megan. Yeah, I love Megan too. I, when, when I say that's who I love too, when I, one thing about Megan, she's that bitch. She, like, she's, she's that, that girl, bitch. right? Like, she's that bitch, like for real. Like, I that's love one of the that. Megan I love before, that. Yeah. I got okay, Megan. You gotta come on the show. We 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 speaking it out there. That part in Asia. You know who I want to on the show? Who Megan I love? Asian doll. Asian doll. I love she's Asian. Ghetto. I love Asian mm -hmm. doll. But I like um JT. Oh, JT? I love I JT. Love JT. I love JT. Oh, I love JT. Oh, baby. JT, she yeah. stole me the other night at that award show. Through that phone? Bitch, what? I would have bent the phone. I would have threw my body over there. Like, bitch, bitch die. Yeah, die. Like, hey. Straight over there. On both of that. Put that right in the head. Like, like, play with who? What happened? Some happy. He took a picture with the girl. I don't think that's what happened. I don't really know what's hap what really happened. <laughs> but I just know... Bitches be trying it, and I just be just bring back flashbacks, and I just be like, stop playing with people, cause everybody not playing. Yeah, everybody not playing. I think she playing. was like, I think she had said that um, he had gave her seat up. Mmm. But it was yeah, like I mean, the seat had got took it or something. I'm so like, you, you know, you trying to no, tell me to, on the low. What no, I'm trying to think. What happened? You said, I think. I mean, a, I seen a couple. Of, I seen the ice spice thing. Yeah. I seen the ice spice stuff. Uh huh. But I seen a seat thing too, but we don't know, so we we couldn't got them states. But you know how dudes is. Yeah, they be they everybody ain't playing, everybody not playing. I be telling everybody. But do you think that do you think that's coming from a crazy side from a past? I think that's coming from trauma from him because realistically, women we go into situations real sweet and nice, uh -huh. and it's like God's always making that. We don't come into the relationship. We have past trauma, but it don't be triggered. Right. Until you do something to trigger our past trauma. Right. And then we crazy. But realistically, it's you who sparked the shit up. So, so say for instance, like in one of those situations, if you was in that situation, what movement or what thing would have made you throw your phone? Like what you would have felt like, you know what I'm saying? I would have just felt tried because for me, I've been tried before with guys. You know what I'm saying? And women, it's like, you're not going to make me feel no way to this particular woman. Like, all my past relationships, especially guys from New York, mm -hmm. they try to make me feel insecure about Spanish women. And I hated it because I'm a girl's girl. I like Spanish, black, Asian, African, everybody. Mm -hmm. And I know I started building, like, little, like, little something. And I had to, I had to go to God and ask him to, like, take that away from me because right. I didn't want to feel like that because of my past trauma. These guys really made me feel away because every time I would look at, find out who they was talking to or I go in a DM or something like that and I don't supposed to do shit like that, but I did. And it was always Spanish girls, so it's like that was one of my trigger points. So do you feel like that was, do you feel like you was in a role for throwing your phone because of the simple fact it was your past trauma? And what if it was nothing like that? Because, you know what I'm saying, we all artists too. So like, you know what I'm saying, if I know my girl right here about to be walking up, why would I be over here chit-chatting with a, you know what I'm saying, I know how she get. Yeah, but again too, niggas be trying it. But that's true, but. Niggas yeah. be trying it. You know what I'm saying? They really be trying it and it's like. I can't say nothing from that one because people do be, niggas do be trying it. Yeah, they be trying to. I want to make sure this is well, well done for you. Ooh. Oh, baby. This looking good. It's looking good. With that little hot sauce on them. Uh-huh. The hot sauce is going to add this. That little kick to it. Man, this, move, this food is going to be so good. And it don't got that much longer on it either. All right. I got a few more questions. Oh, shit. I'm turning the wrong one up. When you leave here, where you going? I'm going to Columbus, Ohio. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> in the beauty industry. Well, I got to get one of your books, too. Yeah, please. I'm giving you all that today. I got a whole little thing Oh, stop playing. I got the seasoning. I got the cook, the chopboard. Because I'm going to cook on the bus. So yeah, on the road, please. I'm going to show them hoes yeah, how, how to chop stop it up. Playing. Okay, cool. So what was one of your favorite um, hairstyles that went viral? Um, that everybody was like Jonathan. The Jonathan. crimp ponytail. The so crimp. I used to do the slicker ponytail. I used to be known for the slip slicker ponytail and then used to do the crimps with it. Mm -hmm. And then I used to be known for doing like different colors and stuff. So yeah. yeah. The colors. So out of, okay, so let me see. Let me get another good question for you. Another good question. 
I feel like this is so like regular for us. Like we've been knowing each other for a long time. For real. Yeah. Um, have you ever been in any type of beef like in the hair industry? With um, I wouldn't call it beef, but I can see that that's what they wanted. But they didn't want it when it actually came to hand. Uh -huh. But like arrogance, hey, um, just a lot of different people. Like you know what I'm saying. When I was coming up in an industry. I wasn't doing her. So when I came in, a lot of people was kind of intimidated mm -hmm. um, to see like how forcefully and fast I was coming up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So. Do you feel like it wasn't an actual person that was you was beefing with? Do you feel like it was more so the uh, audience, the, yeah. like the like the um, the people in the comments, like our followers no, and it stuff? Was, it was the followers too, but it wasn't the followers because of the simple fact. A lot of people like me, I show respect to mm -hmm. everybody. I'm not a person that's coming in. I know who I am. I'm not coming nowhere trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not giving no uppity, sadity. I'm not trying to be none of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, me, when I walk in the room, I'm I'm Jonathan. Yeah. This is who you get. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? With everybody. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, when um, I did Jeff, I'm just getting straight to the chase. I did Jeffree Star her. Uh-huh. And, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you did? Yeah, I did Jeffree That's Star. dope. So, I was, you know, I also was coming up in the industry. Mm -hmm. When I was coming up, I did his her. Mm -hmm. Tay was, you know what I'm saying? Tay was known for doing her. Like, Tay mm -hmm. do good as her. Yeah, he do But good, a lot of yeah. people, like, both you know what I'm saying? Both of y'all do good. Yeah, I do good as her. Yeah, y'all both do good, But the thing good, is yeah. with me is, like, I was coming from nothing, so I was just on the grind. I'm slaying, mm -hmm. like, ten bitches a day. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So... A lot of people was getting jealous of just how hard I was working in when I did Jeffree Star her, mm -hmm. Tay made a coming. You know, he got fans and shit. Yeah. And you know, the fans also played the part. This is where the fans played the part. I is, hate you know when saying? the fans do shit like right. that. Right. Yeah. You know, they played a the part in a, a big part in it. Mm -hmm. But it's for us to understand that you cannot let these fans play you like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, made, I did Jeffree Star her and Tay made a comment on it like, oh, all money ain't good money. First off, you know what I'm saying? Like, Tay was, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You are already an icon in the hair industry. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm coming up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm coming up. I'm doing my thing, mm -hmm. no matter what. So it's like, you, you, you're you supposed to be showing love. Yeah. You ain't, from the jump, you ain't never show love from none, none of the hair classes. I'm all in Atlanta doing all type of other stuff. Just, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing, none of that. But this is the comment that you make. So mm -hmm. after he made that come out, my comment was all money, good money over here. When I when it's about money, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I came from nothing. I'm out here really working. Mm -hmm. I'm not out here just picking and choosing who I want to do. I'm out here really just slaying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People are booking me. Mm -hmm. People are, you know what I'm saying? So after that, the next day, like probably like four days later, Nicki Minaj been wanting me to do her. her. But mm -hmm. the thing was, I had got out of jail and I was on a leg month, so I couldn't travel. Mm -hmm. So Tay had started doing her hair. Uh -huh. So right after that, I guess he had counseled on her or whatever, and she hit me up to do her hair. And I did her hair, and you know what I'm saying? You know the shambles that they put people in. Yeah, uh-huh. So, like, that was, like, you know what I'm saying? That was some kind of beef or whatever. That was, like, shit, that was the beef that was at their hand, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that was that. But it was never no beef. It but wasn't it wasn't no, beef. no real beef. It wasn't beef. no real beef. It was yeah. just like, you know what I'm saying, the internet shit. And I don't be on the internet yeah. doing that. Like me, I'm still t down to get some money with whoever. Yeah. But people let the world and the people do whatever they do. Yeah. Ooh. That's good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Right that looks delicious. Delicious. See, the rice did the justice. The rice did it. Not, <laughs> not you got two starches, though. This it be starches? like that. It be like that, because it's me all day. Baby, I normally have four. Because <laughs> I'm looking like, where's macaroni? Wait a minute. It's macaroni starch. Yeah. And you know, I make the next time you come or if you bring somebody, I got to make the macaroni for you. Because you know, I'm known for my macaroni. For real? Mm hmm. Friend, it's I just so want good. some good ass nachos from you. I know you can make so, some. Some good bussing. I want some new nachos. That's, that's like, I want up. mashed potatoes at the bottom. I was thinking about it when you was cooking them. Because mm -hmm. how they look. I can see mashed potatoes right there with some Sour nachos cream. on there. Sour. That's like a load of potato. I just can't wait to look taste it. Baby, I can't wait to taste it. Where the fork at? So good. Train, you'll give us the forks, please. Stay in that um, thing right there. Yeah. This looks so good. Not me fixing the plate up a little bit. A fork. 
Okay. So Jonathan stepped into Ghetto Girl East Kitchen. Ooh! <laughs> Baby, y'all already know. Let me move all this to the side. And we got some good juice and some good food. Brought to you by Ghetto Girl East Spicy Seasoning. This shit goes on everything. They go on everything? It go on everything. Let me put I literally, in. I literally have to keep it inside my. So purse. do we put some on? We only put them on her. When I tell you, it's gonna be on. seasoned to the T. You ain't gonna need a little bit. Just a little bit. So you can do it right on. She in the camera? Yeah. That's real ghetto. <laughs> with that bonnet on her. What is yeah. it? Yeah. Real. <laughs> hmm. All right, so we about to get Jonathan digging into, he stepped into the Ghetto Girl East Kitchen. Let's see exactly what you think, how Ooh. it tastes. Baby. Baby, what I'm is it giving? The rice already hitting. If Eric Badu, she, she doing something with it. Let me see. I like to mix mine too mm -hmm. sometimes. Friend, that's why you got a husband. Look, <laughs> he over there waiting on his plate. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hold on. When I say this hidden. To the teeth. Where does the knife is? Oh, let me give you the knife. I'm about and to you see, my feet. And my you hand. see how I literally only use one seasoning. Don't it go on everything? Now for the, the mashed potatoes. The... What do the mashed potatoes taste like? Good. When I say this is good, <laughs> it's good. For you, I know it's good. <laughs> I'm glad you like <laughs> She's it. talking about it's, it's good. good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I need the other steak. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Y'all got to get into it. Get into it. Get a girl eats. Let's Stop go. Stop playing. Get a girl eats the one and motherfucking only. Let's go. Mmm. Hmm. With that little juice on them, put it on the side right there. Mm. That's good. I'm glad you like it. That's good. You glad you stepped into the ghetto girl eats You already know I'm glad. I'm glad you came. We said needed this. We needed <laughs> this. No, for real. And you I'm need to do my to hair this. too. No, for real. When I'm playing. We, whenever you ready. When I come back from Columbus. When you come back from Columbus, I'm going to be ready. It's good. I'm so picky. I'm big on your nerves though. Let no, you're not because, baby, I ain't listening to nothing you're saying. Okay, you're just going to do my hair. Because I already know what I'm doing. Okay, okay. What? All right, y'all, make sure you click like and subscribe to Ghetto Girl Eats YouTube channel. And make sure y'all go and get your Ghetto Girl Eats chopboard, seasoning, and cookbook, and shirts. Like, make sure y'all go get all y'all stuff. And stay tuned to this episode of Me and Jonathan. I cannot wait till y'all see it. Yeah, I can't wait till y'all see it, baby.